Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to be editing this gorgeous image shot by Amanda Voller, dog photographer, using the LSP Fur Babies Photoshop Action Suite. This action set contains over 65 Photoshop actions for pet photographers, including image balance, you have retouch brushes, tonal brushes to fix the colours, um, a select and fix hide area which I'm going to show you how to use to remove the lead and the collar, you have artist section, uh, diffuse finishes, final touches and resize for social media. Everything is included here. So this is the actions viewed in button mode. You can change to button mode up here if your actions look like this in grey editing mode. If you've never used actions before or you're unsure of how to load them, please watch some of the other videos which show you how to do this. So I'm going to get started by playing the image balance base here. This will balance out the white balance, uh, the shadows and the highlights a little bit, so it gives us a good base to work on. You can see there before and after. All of the actions are non-destructive, they will not affect your, ba your background layer here. So you can play and mix and match as much as you like. It's going to brighten the image up a little bit as well here. Uh, warm it up, so I'm simply just clicking the actions and they are playing out. I'm going to go to the brushes now and play the black fur rescue brush. Make sure your brush is set to a soft round brush here. Normal mode, 100% opacity and 25% flow. So I'm shrink this down a little bit. I'm just gonna lightly wash this over the darker areas of fur just to rescue some of those blacks that were looking a little bit deep. That's before and after. I'm gonna play the fur details brush. So this will really pick uh, some of the details out of the fur, but also in a non-destructive way. So let's just come over, looking a lot more glossy now. I'm going to sharpen the eyes, so let's just zoom in on that little face. Get the brush, nice and small, sharpen these eyes up. I'm going to play the bright eyes brush too. For the white blaze here, I think I'm going to play the uh, the white rescue brush just to darken that one down a little bit. Let's make the brush bigger and just come over there. So we want more attention on the face here. I'm going to play the fur clean up brush because I've just noticed zooming in on this little face. There's a few areas that could do with cleaning up, so I'm going to make the brush nice and small and just clean up any tiny areas that are kind of standing out and detecting there. I also notice there's a little bit of purple skin showing there, so I'm going to come down to the tonal brushes and play the purple fix brush and just cover that up a little bit, perhaps in the ears too. Brighten up brush for the face. I'm going to come down here. This is the hide section where we're going to hide the collar and the lead, but I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm going to come here to the draw attention brush. This has darkened and added contrast to the whole image, but using a soft black brush, you can paint the effect off of the subject's face. A black brush has been already selected for you, you don't need to do that, the actions will do it for you. So I'm just taking this back off the subject's face and you will see before and after it has really helped bring the attention into the dog here. Try the Vibrance brush. Let's add this a little bit to the background and the fur. That's exactly what it says on the tin, that one. So it's really started to boost this image now. I might get rid of some of this slightly green tone here. Looking a little pink, so I'm just going to take the opacity and turn that down. So we're looking a lot more autumnal and seasonal now. How about the Ultra Details brush? Let's try that one out on the face. I'm going to turn that down a touch. I don't think it needs to be that punchy because it's already quite sharp. We don't want the image to look crunchy. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to remove this collar and lead and any other small distractions using the hide layer. This is an LSP Select and Fix layer. So first of all, we have instructions here if you need to use them. Play the Setup layer. And this is set up a Select and Fix layer. You can click here for the instructions of how to do this, but I'm going to show you. So you zoom in to the area you want to fix. Come up here on the Spot Healing tool and grab the Patch tool and go around leaving a, a nice edge around any areas you wish to remove. You can hold down shift to add to the selection. I recommend working in small small areas here. I'm just going to add that in too. So make sure you've got like a little edge around your selection there and you're including any shadows or anything else you want to get rid of and play this yellow layer here, select and fix it. If it doesn't look great, you're on the patch tool. If it looks a bit blocky, you can simply come around and drag to a kind of a corresponding area here or you can select again and play select and fix it until you're happy so I'm just dragging and patching that in there now I'm going to grab this area so I'm using alt to kind of deselect and I'm holding shift to make a bigger selection there I don't want to select this area because I don't want to remove that. So select and fix it. This is also set to a shortcut of F4, so you don't even need to click on the action to play this one. You can just select here and hit F4 on your keyboard, or if you're on a Mac, you may need to hit function F4. So I'm just going to select that again and do it. I'm going to keep playing this until it looks right. You can also use a combination of um, clone stamp and any other methods you wish to use just to tidy this up a little bit. So I'm pressing F4 on the keyboard right now to tidy that up. Ooh, <laughs> going off course a little bit there. Okay. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to zoom in. Now we can see this area here, uh, Photoshop may struggle a little bit with fixing this, but let's see how it goes. I'm just going to be quite careful coming up the side of the dog's ear here. Yep, it's brought in a little bit of skin from the dog's ear. I think we can get that down a little bit before we need to clone. That's not too bad at all. So now I'm going to select the clone stamp. Make sure it's nice and small, pretty hard because this is quite a hard area. And I'm just going to clone from that area there, just come up and then back on the patch tool just to tidy that area up. Okay, so that's now the lead and collar removed. I'm going to remove these as well because I feel they detract from the image so I'm just going to draw around, hold down shift to draw selections around the nipples, around any other areas that you know, maybe showing and taking away from the portrait. It's up to you what you remove and what you don't remove. So I'm play select and fix there, and that has got rid of them rather nicely. So a little bit there. I'm going to get rid of this uh, twig as well. So I'm just drawing around, making sure I'm leaving a nice border around the edge to show Photoshop what to draw in from, and select and fix it. Could use that to tidy up all manner of objects. You can simply draw around and press the F4 key like this. So I'm just going and getting rid of any distractions, drawing around, hitting F4. It's really super quick to use once you know how. So I'm just drawing the selection and pressing F4, and that's playing this action here. And again, because this is on a separate layer. You can see before and after it is non-destructive. I'm just going to fix this little bokeh bit here and this one here. Okay, so before and after, that's using the hide, harness, collar, distraction, select and fix layer. I think I'm going to play blue fix quickly as well. This is a brush that's given me a brush just to take some of those blues off the skin tone and this log here. So 
before and after we did definitely have a distinct kind of blue tone going on in there so let's finish this off uh, with some of the diffuse finishes let's try a warm one let's try beam I really like beam because it literally creates a lovely beam of light coming down here and you can play with the opacity that looks really pretty let's try a darker um, a dramatic evening perhaps and this will really darken down especially around the edges I may paint this off some of these areas because they're quite dark anyway and they don't need to be really dark but let's see how it looks Ooh, very nice okay so I'm just gonna yeah paint this off a little bit here okay so that is using the LSP Fur Babies Photoshop Action Set. Let me just turn all the layers off that we've added in. And said these are totally non-destructive, so that is before and after. And you can find this set at www.lsp-actions.com.